Well, well, well. We meet again, Great Sports Series. Today we're going to take a look at Great Volleyball, which, surprisingly, is the most playable, in my opinion, of the Great Sports titles I've seen so far. It's not great, but it's not as terrible as the others. If you're thinking about using this cartridge in any system designed by Nintendo, Sony, Magnavox, or Atari, I implore you to reconsider. As in the other great sports games, this one has a pretty catchy little tune in the title screen. Great Volleyball features a practice mode in which you can practice serving and spiking the ball. If you successfully serve or spike, depending on what you're trying to do, the coach will tell you, hey, good job. If you fail, they'll make fun of you, which well, I guess is a legitimate coaching tactic. Uh, while serving, you can control the direction of the ball's movement to some extent. This can be tricky, and the computer player seems to be pretty good at picking up when it's going to go out of bounds and doesn't bother hitting it because it'll just get them a point. During spike practice, one player hands the ball off to the setter, who sets the ball, and then somebody else runs up and tries to spike it over the net. I actually did get pretty good at this, and was able to control by holding down or up on the D-pad while spiking it, uh, which side of the court it tended to go towards. You also have the option of playing either a goodwill match or a tournament against another team. I chose a goodwill match because I didn't think that I was going to be able to get to uh, the second game of a tournament. Now I selected the USSR and Cuba completely at random, but it turns out both countries are in the top five Olympic volleyball teams by total medals won. The US and Japan are in there too, but I already used those for my uh, great basketball review, so the only one left is Brazil, who I've just decided will be playing Great Britain when I get great soccer. You may have noticed a second ago while I ch was choosing my team, it also let me distribute five skill points. I think it was five. Yeah, it was... no, was it? Five or six. To uh, the different attributes of my team. And this, I assume, has some effect on the gameplay, but no matter how many times I played, it didn't really help. See, this is where the painful part comes in, and where you can tell that it's a great sports game. I have not managed to score more than one point in any game against the computer. Look at that, that should have been out. Anyway, I almost always give up my serve on the first volley, and when they're serving, I rarely am able to return the ball. I swear sometimes, when I hit the button for the player to, you know, hit the ball, it just doesn't happen. The player refuses to respond. Sometimes when I hit the D-pad for the player to move, they refuse to respond. I still think this game would be fun versus a human opponent, where you're both working with the same handicaps, but even so, it might not be due to the control issues. I think the only time I was actually able to regain the ball to serve was uh, when my opponents hit it out of bounds, and I happened to notice that before returning it, or trying to return it to them. <sighs> Again, I'm not the biggest sports game fan in general, nor am I very good at them, so it is a bit difficult for me to say whether this game is bad because I'm bad at it, or because it's just inherently bad. I don't know if you noticed when that ball was coming down there on my side of the court, it sort of changed direction a little bit just at the last second, and there it did it again. Uh, I think that this is the computer opponent uh, influencing the movement of the ball even after they've left contact with it. Uh, I've seen it happen even more blatantly, although I don't think an example of that comes up in this footage. That could be really fun if you're playing against a human opponent. I, 
I think it would be at least anyway. But against a computer who knows just how to do it, and at the exact right moment for you to fail, it just becomes tiresome. I'm going to spare you the rest of my humiliation and just show the footage from the second game of the match where I actually did manage to score a point just before they sealed the deal and beat me. So here we go, it's for match point, and... Oh no. They fucked up. Now it's my turn. And then they fucked up again. See, none of this was actually due to anything that I did. And here they return it to me. And in short order, they've got the serve again. Uh, I wouldn't actually recommend against buying this game if you get it cheap. Um, as I said in my great basketball review, this game and that one each cost me two dollars complete. So, look at that. That's just humiliating. But, yeah, if you can get it cheap, why not pick it up for a couple of bucks and try it against a human opponent? It may be a lot more fun than this. Thanks for watching. See you next time.